Welcome to Science Gal Aquatics. I'm Carrie, and in today's video, well, today I have something really amazing to share with you, so stay tuned. Welcome to Science Gal Aquatics, your place for guppy love and more. Sharing the good, the bad, and the unexpected adventures of fish keeping, let the show start in three, two, one. Enjoy! So when it comes to the outside tubs, I do not have a schedule at all. I honestly just go out there all day long, constantly checking on them, seeing how they're doing, staring at the tubs and feeding them all day long. They've all been out there now a little while now and the first tub that I noticed something exciting going on with was the Pearl Galaxy rice fish. I quickly grabbed my camera and I tried so hard to capture this exciting moment for you, but let me show you. Let's take a look. Along with the Pearl Galaxy rice fish, I do keep Blue Daisy rice fish outside as well. Both have produced plenty of fry. However, I have only seen the Pearl Galaxy females carrying eggs. It is interesting to watch just how different their personalities are. The Pearl Galaxy rice fish are usually found independent and scattered everywhere throughout the tub, including the surface, where you can see them quite often, whereas the Blue Daisy rice fish are almost always clustered together towards the bottom of the tub. This was extremely exciting. This was my first time being able to see this process in person. I do feed all of the outside tubs in the morning and evening, and one morning during the routine, I happened to spot this female scattering her eggs. Again, I do feed every morning and evening a small amount of food. I almost always feed aquarium co-ops fry food and occasionally Akari's first bites. Female rice fish do twist and turn and wiggle through the floating plants, working quite hard to scatter eggs. And it's not exactly the quickest process. Honestly, I didn't get the chance to watch the entire time, but I did watch for about 30 minutes and she still had plenty of eggs to go. Let me know what you think about moving all four of the rice fish tubs into the basement next to the fish room for the winter. Originally, I was planning on leaving them outside with small heaters, but let me know what you think down below. Which is better, moving them inside or keeping them outside? When it comes to temperature, these tubs do fluctuate between morning and evening. Simply, depending on what time of day it is, these tubs are different temperatures. It was hard in the middle of summer to keep the water temperature cooler. And from what I've read, the rice fish do best between 65 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit. And I do keep the rice fish tubs filled only halfway because of their reputation for jumping and I only keep an air stone in each, which I do keep the airflow turned down.
I didn't have to wait very long, only about two weeks before I started to spot the first fry. First, I was going to scoop fry when I saw them and put them directly into the fry tub, but that quickly changed. I realized that just wasn't going to be possible or practical. Instead, I just decided to move the floating plants, algae and all, into the fry tub. Again, it only seems like the eggs only need about two weeks. After about a month, I decided to go ahead and move these first few older fry back into the original parental tub. I was a little nervous about how all the newer, younger, extremely small fry were going to do, but when I did move them, they were chased quite a bit, but after a day or so, this did stop. Make sure you subscribe to Science Gal Aquatics and the bell notification is clicked so you don't miss when new videos are released. But until next time, I'll see you in the comments and the live stream on Fridays. Thanks for watching. Enjoy!